G'day, so we're out doing some float training here. This is a young horse. It's sort of not really been handled or trained a lot. He's not done a lot of groundwork. So I've got him to the back of the float, and I want to just give a direction and use that flag for impulsion and just see what happens, really. I just want to want to figure out where he's at. So he's sort of got a little bit of an idea to go off pressure, but he is very worried. He's he's very much in his in his flight state of mind. So I'm just going to keep applying this. I'm, you know, he can he can pull me wherever he wants to, but it's not going to get him away from the pressure. So the pressure releases, as always, in our groundwork when we get the desired result. So I'm giving him a direction using the flag on the opposite side for impulsion, and he's just in flight mode and pulling me up the driveway there. So this is something that we're just going to have to work on for a little bit now. We're even, you know, we're away from the float a little bit and he's he's just got this flight reaction about, I think it's more about the float than anything else at this point. Um, he's got the idea that this is what we're working on and, and you know, he, he just does not want to borrow that float. So I'm just going to keep working on this as we do, keep applying that cue. The cue doesn't go away until, until I get the desired result. Then he, he starts moving forwards and all cues are off. When he wants to pull away and back up, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll apply those cues again because that's obviously not the desired result. There he stopped his feet, so I'll just apply that cue, give direction, add the flag. He's wanting to pull a different direction. So I'll just keep applying that. You know, I'll, I'll ignore all this behaviour, the rearing and, and all of that stuff. I'll, I'll just completely ignore that and just carry on um, applying the cue, asking for, the, for that forward movement. As soon as he moves off forwards, we'll, re we'll release that cue. You want to change directions a few times here. We'll just start making this a bit of work for him. So I just want to start giving him the idea now that this is, this is all work. Away from the float is work. You see he's tried to run through the flag and over the top of the flag there. So I just let him run into that. I don't want him to get the idea that he can that he can get away from things or beat things uh, by running over the top of them. Because that obviously, you know, that'll translate at some point to running over the top of me at the at the base of the float there at the tailgate, you know, to to avoid the ramp, to avoid the, the float altogether. You know, he could very easily just decide that he's going to run over the top of me. So I want him to get the idea that running over the top of things isn't an option. You know, he needs to he needs to be more respectful of 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 me and my space and uh and of what we're trying to do here so we're, we're back at the tailgate now at the base of that ramp so you can see he's in a bit of a a bit of an anxious sort of a posture he's not standing relaxed and comfortable there so i'm just going to give him a minute to have a think about things and we're going to get ready to start asking again for our direction up the ramp so that our, but our first our first goal isn't to get him to go straight up the ramp. The first goal is just to get him to even get to the to the base of the tailgate there and uh, and, and just maybe get him to touch it with one foot or or even just to get close to it and, and be able to stop and relax there. You can see he's getting a lot better about taking that direction there now. So I'm going to start moving closer to the ramp as he's doing that. And... Uh, he's going to start cutting in quite close on me and pushing on my personal space. You can see I flicked the flag there just to give him an idea to be you know, more aware of my space and, and make him think that maybe you know, pushing closer towards that, that ramp of the, of the float there, maybe that's going to be a better idea. It's going to make that, make that uncomfortable thing go away. So we're getting quite close to the, the ramp there, so I'm going to step back and draw him in. And he sees first, he can see what I'm doing, and his first move is to plant his feet and brace up and pull on that rope. So I just ask him to release that pressure there, to come off that pressure. And so he's, he's braced up there again. He's in flight stance, ready to go. So I'm just going to give him a second to think about that. And I'll give him a rub there. I just want him to... To, to, to understand that, you know, this isn't a bad place to be and he can relax a little bit. And there I step back and he draws in and relaxes. So that's 
That's a good start there. So now we're we're more comfortable at the uh, the, the base of the ramp here. You know, you can see he's standing quite relaxed now. He doesn't seem quite so anxious in his in his posture, in his in his expressions. He's he's looking around. He's he's quite happy to be there. So I'm going to point up the up the ramp and just give a light impulsion with that flag. And at this point, we're just asking for a step towards. Um, he's pulled back a little bit there, so I'll let him hit some pressure on that lead. And I'll ask him to come off of that pressure now. There, and we'll give him a rub there. Just, just I just want him to stand nice and relaxed at the at the foot of that ramp there at the moment. I'll point up the ramp here again, and again, gentle flag impulsion. I don't want to put too much pressure on him. I'm just asking for a half step the right direction at this point. See, so he's sort of stepping away there, so I'm going to let him hit pressure on that lead again and ask him to come off of that pressure. And then again, direct, apply the impulsion. See, so he's rocked his weight back and then rocked it forwards again. So I'm going to reward the, just the rocking forwards of the weight because that's telling me that his first thought was away, but then he thought twice and he thought towards. So I'm going to reward that there. I'll give him a second here to think about it before we direct. Again, fairly light impulsion. We get a half step and that's the first touch on the, the base of the ramp there. So I'm going to give him a good rub there and reward that touch. So now we've touched the, the base of the ramp a couple of times. Now I'm, I'm going to give that direction and a gentle impulsion and I want to step up and there we go. Big reward for that. That's really, really good. And then we've got two feet. That's even better. And see, you can see there he's, he's getting good with that direction. He just went off the, I didn't have to use the flag there. He just went off the, the, the one hand direction, the point with the rope. So I'm going to give him a second there to think about that. Now we've got two feet up on the ramp there. That's a big improvement. That's a, that's a, a big step forward in our progress. So we'll point and add some more gentle impulsion. He's sort of looking for other ways there. He's, you know, he's swinging his head around a little bit. He's trying to look out the other side of the float, trying to find another way uh, that he can go, that he can escape. So he's not overly comfortable with the whole idea yet. Even though we are making progress, it's sort of something you've got to be kind of aware of at these times, you know, and, and keep control of, of the situation. So he's backing away and I increase the pressure with the flag. So coming away, thinking away from the float creates pressure, thinking towards releases pressure. That's the idea I'm trying to get him to understand now. So we don't want him taking backward steps at this point. So any backward step, any, any thought of, of leaving increases pressure. I'm starting to think at this point now he might need some, some extra guidance. So I might um, at this point step up onto the ramp there just to give him a little bit of extra support um, just because he's he's just showing me that he's, he's still quite anxious about the whole idea. So I'm just going to get up there with him just for some extra support and guidance. And again, backward steps increase pressure. When he thinks in, even if it's just a rocking of the weight, it's not a movement of the feet at this point, if it's a rocking of the weight forwards, um, I'm going to reward that. And then give him a second to think about it, apply a little bit more pressure and just ask for just a little bit more than what he's given me so far. 
I don't need a big step in the right direction. I don't need him to go, you know, charging up into the float there. I just want him to give me, you know, it'll be even a half step in the right direction is good. See, there he sort of stepped one foot the first time he stepped a foot off the ramp inside the float. And he, he took that foot back straight away, but it was a, that's a step forward. So we'll reward that and have a rest. And then we go again, apply the pressure. There he's getting that foot inside the float again. And there we've got all four feet on the ramp. So we'll allow a big rest there. He, re he, he, he wants to retreat there. So I'll bring that flag back into it and we'll get those four feet back on the ramp. And give him a good wither scratch there, rub his head at the same time. I really love on him a lot. You know, he's, 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 been, he's been through a lot in a very short time here. So, you know, he's taken it all fairly well and he, he's advanced pretty quickly. So we want to give him a, a, a good reward for these efforts. So now we're, we're getting to where we're nice and square on that ramp. He's really getting the idea of it. You know, he's wanted to back out a little bit there. But that's okay. We'll just keep applying that pressure when he wants to back up. He's looking for another way out. But that's all right. I'll just keep applying that pressure when he wants to back out. Apply the pressure. Apply the pressure. When he's making those steps forward, give him the release. And here we're almost fully loaded. So this is good. We've made some really good progress here. So he's still getting a little bit anxious about those last couple of steps. He was sort of leaning on me in the float a little bit there. So I'm just going to apply that pressure again. As long as he's backing out or he's thinking away, there's pressure, 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 pressure. And here he's wanting to pull away from it again, trying to find another way. We'll just work through this little protest he's having here. I'll get back up on that ramp to give him that support and guidance. Then we get the four feet on the ramp again. But he steps off, we apply the pressure. So I just want him to, it's, it's sort of like a refinement in any of our training processes. You know, we just need to ask for a little bit more, a little bit more each time, and process, progress comes. I'll step right into the, the, the float there with him and just apply that pressure at the back end. And there we go. We've got one foot still on the ramp. Just ask him to step up. He wants to step back. We'll apply pressure here. little more pressure and we're almost there just one more step we need and there we've got all four feet inside the float so that's a that's a big improvement there I just want him to now to, to sort of get right up to the front of the float he's sort of hanging back off the uh, sort of in in the middle I just wanted to get up to the front where he'd need to be if we were going to take him somewhere and tie him up, close the uh, close the divider in there. So there we go. We've got him fully loaded. So now I've got him fully loaded. I'll give him a good old scratch in there and a good rub and a bit of a bit of time to rest and relax. And then we'll back him out gently as as we're doing now. I want him to back out nice and slow and relaxed. And then we'll load him one more time just to make sure that, that we haven't fluked it the first time. Give him a nice rub there at the base of the at the base of the, the ramp. And then I'll apply the direction and the flag and ask for him to go up there again. You can see he's already gone sort of most of the way up the ramp just off the direction before I before I applied the flag. 
they'll go in there with him again and, and just, just to give him that support and guidance. He's wanted to back out of the pressure again. So that's okay. We just keep applying it as we have done all along. And he's getting much better about stepping up into that float now on our second time. And that's pretty much the job done for today. He's um he's done really, really well. So we'll we'll revisit that again in in a in a couple of weeks. He's wanted to back out by himself there. So we'll just make sure that we can get him to load up and stand without backing out. Just keep applying that pressure. He's sort of stepping towards me there and squashing me inside the uh, inside the float. So I just get him to step over and get those last couple of steps up inside the float there. Give him a good rub. Scratching on him, loving on him in there. So we don't want to don't want to put him under too much pressure while they're actually in there. So it needs to become a, a place of relaxing and and reward. So there we go, that's that's the process all done, all up. It took about an hour. 